I just had a big freaking out moment. I was just sitting down drinking coffee and I heard this creaking noise. Good morning. <laughs> and it was this. It stopped doing it now the second I get the camera out, but it was like kind of creaking and clicking. <laughs> oh, it's got a stamp on it. It might be an actual genuine nice letter. <laughs> it's got Izzy's name on it. And there's bulge in there. I'm amazed that got through on a stamp actually. Do you want me to open it for you and pass you the contents so you don't have to touch it? Okay. Then I'll wash my hands. Good morning, by the way. <laughs> We've been up for ages. You're just saying like I just got up. Oh, I've only just started filming. Yeah, well, I'm not lazy. I did get up at like 9.15. Yeah, you were very good. I know. You've been brilliant. Right, I'll open this for you. Okay. So... The game is a Monster High game that I wanted when I was like nine years old. And then me and my friend was talking about Monster High and how we used to love it. And then she said, oh, I had that game. And then I was like, oh, when I was nine, I really wanted it. So now I can live out my childhood fantasy, even though I'm still in my childhood, but my younger childhood <laughs> fantasy. I'm doing a spree of printing out maths worksheets again but I won't film it. Izzy's finishing off her maths. I've got the oven preheating. Look what I managed to get my hands on last week. <laughs> I went to Iceland. I ended up having to go shopping twice last week, Tesco's and Iceland. The problem is just that I can only carry what I can carry and it's not enough for a whole week. We're on the 14th of May at the moment. Look at that, we've got one more week and then it's half term. It feels like the time in lockdown is absolutely hurtling by so quickly and it's weird you'd think it would crawl really because every day's the same but it's not every day being the same seems to be making it go quicker anyway today is not going to be the same because after lunch Izzy and I are going to bunk off that's right we're going to go out of the house and go for a walk instead of doing English literature today because I feel that she needs to get out and so do I so that's what we're going to do that is a very short half term that is <laughs> there's only five weeks there and seven weeks there you know this is completely unrelated to anything in the video but I was just suddenly thinking whilst printing Izzy's stuff out that Sometimes what people think they want is not actually what's going to make them happy. These chewable vitamin D tablets for kids are a real hit with Izzy. She keeps wanting more. I'm like, ah, hang on. <laughs> Don't eat too many. They're like little chalky sweet things. I can't quite remember how many she's supposed to have, so I'm giving her one a day on top of her multivitamins at the moment because the multivitamins only have a minuscule amount in there. Just also marked her latest work from this morning, 95%. She's doing really okay at the moment. And there's the new work I've printed off for her today that should keep her going for a good week or two, I think. I had this letter through the post. Yes, that is a censoring pencil. And I folded down the address as well. I don't know if I might be able to get some kind of payment because I've lost all my work but I'm gonna have a go through that later while Izzy's doing a zoom meeting and see if I can be entitled to anything don't know I'm gonna use up the rest of my vegetables which is that apart from a couple of salady bits and give that fridge thingy a soap because it's revolting I have now no oh, look no actually don't look yeah moldy bits didn't even see it there but I have now right let's turn these into something delicious frozen mushrooms going in that soy sauce brand I used the other day that I got because I couldn't get my normal brand it was too revolting to ever use again so I'm just banishing it to the back of the cupboard and then when I see somebody that might like it I shall pass it on I think IB won't mind, he doesn't mind a bit of sweet and savoury. I'm attempting to make Marmite equivalent for that saltiness with a bit of fermented flavour. So let's see. I'm going to have a break from the leeks this week. God, I mean, they're in there now, but oh my poor guts. They do not like leeks or onions. I think they're all right in pasties, <laughs> just, just as well. I feel like I should buy them and cook with them because they're just so supposedly good for your guts because they um, promote the growth 
of the healthy gut bacteria. It's like a lovely fertiliser for them. Oh dear. And I get a lot of bloating and discomfort and other side effects. What else should we put in here? Hmm, how about some... Ooh, don't know, not bad. So I'm going to save that for the tomato dishes. Oh, I've got something else here. What's this? Oregano. Not chilies because he can't cope with them. Gonna go for the Italian seasoning, I think. Chuck a bit of that in. Oh, that smells all rustic now, like a farmhouse kitchen from the 1800s. I don't know what they actually smell like. They probably smell revolting, to be honest. Uh, yeah, but anyway, it's what I imagine it might have smelled like. I don't know, I imagine herbs in bouquets tied up drying up near the rafters and I think that's why I think it would smell like that but probably they would have animal droppings and all sorts of poor sanitation related odours they may well have animals in there as well there we are that was good I can't help but notice that Isabel has picked out every single bit of leek and left it on her plate yeah, definitely time to not buy some for a while. <laughs> it's five past two now and we're getting ready to go for a walk up the hill. We're just about ready to go out. I've made some very icy drinks. Well, Izzy finished it off for me actually. I gave her the drink in it. <laughs> Before the pandemic, it was so nice to have a sort of midpoint destination like a cafe and we'd sit and just have a drink together and a little 10 or 20 minutes rest and then get back on with the walk we can't do that now because of the pandemic so we're just going to take our own drink and have it at some point we've started our walk in a graveyard and we've been looking at a lot of these gravestones that are up against the wall we're just wondering if the bodies would have been buried here or if they were just memorial plaques i don't know because they'd have to be in a huge trench if they were and the dates are all different so i don't know but the shocking thing is that the vast majority of the ages of the people that had died were under 18. And they're from sort of early 1800s to mid 1800s. There's strawberry plants there, look, is. Perhaps somebody was eating strawberries and dropped some here. And they turned into a plant. We're managing to avoid people so far. We've just been to our local Tesco's, not to go in, but we went about 100 metres away from it and had a look to see how long the queue was and it is, this is very long. <laughs> We've made it to the park, haven't we, Is? Yeah. Spell's feeling sad about not seeing people. As am I, of course. But we can see flowers. <laughs> Ta-da! These ones are gorgeous. I wonder how long they're going to be around for before they shrivel up. This is having drink issues. Straw. You lost your straw, darling. Yeah. Is that a joke that I don't understand? <laughs> no. It's just being literal. Would you like me to put my hand there for no, any useful reason? I'm a strong, independent woman. <laughs> you are. By the time Izzy comes out of this lockdown, I fear she will be a woman. The lockdown's been like a giant cocoon and Isabel's gone into it in her larval stage and she's going to come out a beautiful butterfly. I was one of those majestic creatures that was born a butterfly and just going to turn into a more beautiful butterfly. <laughs> Isabel's having an emotional moment triggered by the sight of this leaf. Mm, it looks like one of my favourite crisps. Crinkle cut by any chance. McCoy! <laughs> I'm hungry, can you tell? Uh, Isabel thinks these plantain flowers look like Cheetos on sticks. What do you think? I love this sound. The sound of clenching skulls. They're not really, I'm just joking. The beechnut shells, I think. Yeah, I know what they are. I have a granddad. No, don't touch it. Why? What, Corona? Corona. I, I doubt it's got Corona because it's kind of just fallen off that tree. I think it's safe. I suppose that's a reasonable point. I was going to offer it to you, but maybe I won't. I want it. It's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it's an ombre. 
What does that mean? It's an ombre. An ombre is when um, like it starts at one colour, then it like kind of turns into another slowly. Oh, I see. Like um, I'm trying to find an example of an ombre, but I can't. Your hair, your hair. Because you know how the tops of your hair are dark, then it kind of goes into yeah. red. That's an ombre. Oh, I see. I thought ombre meant shade. Not anymore. Not so much of a gradual change of shade, mind you. The new ones are a very bright green and they're really, really soft and not scratchy, but these are quite scratchy. This has gone in search of a giant pine cone because this tree here, well, this one over here, has got giant pine cones. Got one! They're gigantic. Massive, isn't it? I feel like this would be the BFG's cone. <laughs> yeah, probably. But we don't fall on our heads. They look a bit scratchy. <laughs> like pom-poms. They're massive, aren't they? <laughs> we should probably start sauntering back towards the house because we've got to do biology, but I'm going to bunk off everything else. Look at this stick. Look at this. Mine is the biggest stick. Oh, ooh, I've got sticky fingers now. I've got resin on it. Oh, well, on that's the tree. your bad. Oh, damn, I almost got it. Yeah, we're going to bunk off history and English literature today as he's got a Zoom meeting at five. So we're just going to go back and leisurely do biology and then we're going to be done with school for the day. And she's got a Skype call planned with the gal pals. And what time is that? Six. Six? Blimey, are you scheduling dinner in at all tonight? Maybe at 11. Mm. Or maybe while I'm calling with my gal pals. Oh, you want me to bring it up, do you? So that would be luxury. I'll think about it. Put something that's not going to slop everywhere. Like pizza. Have to go shopping first. We just found a nest. Look. Look what that fluff is. Thistles, maybe? Spartan boys used to sleep in thistles because the prickling sensation would keep them warm in winter. Oh, blimey. Look at that level of alertness. Isabel is tackling the online quiz at the end of the biological molecules mm -hmm. lesson. It's not fun. She's been at it for some time. <laughs> We're nearly at the end of it. I've just put a laundry load on and I'm going to clear the decks here and give that a wash out while she's doing that. Reminds me of cleaning out a fish tank. It's five o'clock now. Izzy's Zoom lesson is just starting. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.